the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, today the church keeps the memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows. Yesterday we celebrated the triumph of the Holy Cross, the passion of our blessed Lord through which we were liberated from the bondage of sin, death and curse. Today our gaze is shifted from the cross to Blessed Mother who stood by the cross, enduring in her heart the passion of her son. The passion which Jesus experienced outwardly, crucifixion, breathlessness, Mary experienced it as she stood seeing ghastly murder of her son. Yet in her heart she never lost faith. Even at that point of time, she entrusted herself and the passion of her son to the will of the Father. The Gospel we see more than the disciples of Jesus, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene, along with the beloved disciple, stood at the foot of the cross. And when Jesus saw the beloved disciple, he entrusted his mother to him. Therefore, Mary becomes the mother of our Christian believers, the mother of the church. My dear friends, Blessed Mother stands as a witness of our endurance, how we must entrust the sorrows of our lives, those questions which we do not seek answer, but with radical trust and hope in the Almighty, we too must entrust our life. This is what the today's feast teaches us. Let us pray for the that undaunted courage and faith of the Blessed Mother, so that face the difficulties and challenges of our life, we may continue to offer with Jesus our pain and suffering of life. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the intercession and example of your Blessed Mother. As we journey in our everyday life, may she intercede for us, for all that we stand in lack in our lives, namely the faith, hope and charity. We make this prayer in your holy name, dear Lord. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.